Howdy folks, welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today, we're on the road. We're in Dandridge, Tennessee at Valentine's Mills, and we're gonna go inside and visit some friends. This is my friend Shelly and her and her husband Clive on the store in the mill here. And if y'all are going to be in the Gatlinburg, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge area during Christmas time, this is one of those places that you really need to take the time to come by and visit and see all the stuff that they have for sale here. And Clive will even take you through the mill, but I'm going to let them tell you about that. Good morning, Becky. How are you doing? I'm good, and it's really nice to be here. It's absolutely beautiful, all decorated for Christmas. We're transitioning from fall into Christmas. Christmas is our favorite time. It's a time when we can share what we have with the community and the, the visitors that come in. All of the jams and jellies in the store with fabric on the toppers I actually make. If you do happen to see a topper that's Christmas, we're transitioning Christmas into our entire store. Uh, our Tennessee Christmas Jam is my best Christmas seller. It is made with cranberries, strawberries, and oranges. It also has cloves and cinnamon. When you open it, you smell like Christmas morning. Pineapple upside down cake is my own recipe. Uh, I started during the pandemic researching different recipes. I didn't know if I was gonna actually be doing this store or if we were gonna lease it out um, to another party. And the closer it came to opening, I thought, you know, I can do that. I can do that. You can't really mess up on blackberry jam or strawberry jam. That's kind of traditional, but I kind of mixed some flavors in this one. This is my peach berry sunset, Becky. It has strawberry on top and peach on the bottom. Ooh. <laughs> it's, it's killer. It's killer. I also have a seedless blackberry. I do carry a line of sugar-free jams for those of you that do need sugar-free. Uh, they taste, we use uh, concentrated grape juice, and they do taste pretty good for sugar-free. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of my best selling items in the store is my goat's milk lotion and soap. It has, goat's milk lotion has the same pH as, as we do, so it doesn't actually coat your skin. It cleanses it. Uh, the lotions soak in. They don't wash off. Um, I have flavors for men, uh, bay rum. Of course, you're in UT country, so you have Tennessee soap. Uh, these are cute with the little snowflakes on them. And there's the bears, the bears and the fall and leaves, we haven't taken Christmas trees, and these all would be colors. just adorable in a Christmas stocking. I mean, in look a at stocking, that. But this is one of the newest baskets that Kay and Leslie have made. It's a candy cane one. Before the baskets go out the door, we have a cellophane that we put over it and a big bow at the top of the cellophane. I've shipped them that way. I have also some bags that are shrink wrapped, so I can shrink wrap it, put it in boxes for those of you that want to order it. I guess I could mention at this time that we do have a web page up if you want to order. It's historicvalentinemails.com. And if you see something in here, you want to email me at valentineshelly at yahoo. Email me and I'll answer you back. So Shelly ships everywhere in the U.S. No, no outside the U.S., sorry. <laughs> but if you see something here, you'd like some of the soap or some of her jelly or some of the meal that Clive grinds right here. They have biscuit mix, they have corn meals, they have self-rising flour, plain and bleached flour, and it's all made here, but we'll get him to tell you about that. Um, they also have um, sorghums and molasses here, you know, for all those Christmas molasses cookies, if y'all want to make those. And we're going to do a recipe for those. I haven't done that yet, but we're going to get that up before Christmas. I want y'all to meet Clive now. He runs the mill here. And when folks stop by and visit, it's not just like a shopping trip. It's an experience. Him and Shelly actually greet people, and it's an activity. Clive will take you out and show you the meal. He'll grind stuff for you to take home. You can watch him grind what you take home. And they really, it's an educational thing. Y'all bring your kids by, and they're always welcome. And it's, it's a family experience, not just like a side stop so Clive's going to tell you about what he does and what he makes here yeah I'm the one that gives the mickle tour here okay take everybody through the mill <clears throat> we've got an old set of stones 
it's been around for a long time. We got it out of an old mill up in Virginia, brought them down here and set them up. We grind corn, make grits and cornmeal. We grind a little bit of flour and make a biscuit mix. I've actually had that. That's really good. You like that? Yes. Yeah. And our um, pancake mix mm -hmm. and hush puppy mix, we all make here. So we're not completely gluten free, but we don't grind them in the same place. We grind all of our flour uh, in one building and we do our cornmeal in the other building. Oh, well, that's good for folks who have an allergy. Yeah. That's the reason I can't speak very well. I have a I can't eat wheat. Oh, no. <laughs> a miller who can't eat wheat. That's actually how I got into this. I couldn't find cornmeal that didn't have flour in it. Oh, yeah. That's... And I wound up buying a small grist mill to do that with, and it led from one thing to another. And we're making our cornmeal from an heirloom seed hickory cane corn Ooh. that uh, doesn't have any flour in it at all. That hickory cane corn has a lot of meal and flour in it when we grind it, so you don't have to use the flour to yeah. make good cornbread. Well, so all you gluten-free folks, definitely check out that website, and uh, you can order you some gluten-free cornmeal. Like he said, there might be some because it's, but it's pretty much gluten-free. It's about as close as you it can is. get. We, <clears throat> we don't certify it mm -hmm. to make sure it's gluten-free but we don't have it mixed anywhere with any wheat in it because I don't want any of the wheat myself. So it makes a big difference. Okay, well that's really cool. So you can order that anywhere in the U.S. Before we go, Shelly and I would like to remind you of why we are so thankful and why we celebrate Christmas. It's because of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and you can find him in the Bible in John 3:16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you so much for joining us in the Hillbilly Kitchen. If you haven't already, please don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. And until next time, remember to put God first.